I'm just going to step you through the bisection method for finding roots to an equation. So if you look at this uh, graph, we have the graph of uh, cosine of x minus x. And um, there is a root, you can see, um, from the blue curve, right at about uh, somewhere close to 0.7 something. So we're going to uh, use the bisection method to approximate the root. So the first step is to choose an interval. So I've chosen an interval from A to B. Um, and you can see the rectangle, which is drawn there, um, sort of uh, with it, there's a root contained within that rectangle. Uh, the top left corner is the function um, evaluated at the point A, and the bottom right corner is the function evaluated at B. And the way the bisection method works is we basically we bisect this interval from A to B, and we set that equal to C. Okay, so what's so special about C? Well, um, we use C as a guess to the root. Well, from this picture, I mean, it's not all that close to the root, but it's better than either A or B. Um, and if you look at the interval from C to B, the root is contained in that interval. So we update our interval to um, from A to B, and we we set A equal to C, and we define a new interval uh, interval from C to B. Um, and a good way to test this is to actually compute the function evaluated at B at times the function evaluated at C. If it's less than zero, that means that f of A and f of C have different signs. So they so the function must have crossed the x-axis. Um, so if f of B times f of C is less than zero, you update our left endpoint A and you set A equal to C. And we define a new interval. And then we do the same thing again. We uh, find the midpoint, and we test whether the function, where the function changes sign. So here, um, we want to update the right endpoint, B, to C, just like this. And we repeat. We define the midpoint, C. And you notice every time we find a new midpoint, we get closer and closer to the root. And we, we keep applying the same test. We evaluate the function um, at C and multiply it by the function evaluated at one of the endpoints. And wherever that is less than zero, we have to update the interval accordingly. So I update, um, in this case, A equals C to form that in interval. Uh, and the midpoint now is to the left of the root. So we update A again to equal C. And now, if we choose a midpoint, you'll note that C is to the right of the interval, so now we update B to equal C, and so on. And we can keep doing this and doing this, and you notice that the interval gets smaller and smaller, and eventually what happens is we get close enough to our root, and by close enough there's usually some um, tolerance which we define um, before we start um, running our program. In this case, it's um, my tolerance is 5 times 10 to the minus 5. Um, but here we have a root. Um, this thing converged to um, 0.7391 uh, plus or minus 5 times 10 to the 5. And that's the um, bisection method for finding roots to an equation.